Hey, what's up, Red students? My name is Jason. Welcome to Weird Wednesday. I have a weird fact about myself for you guys today, and it's this, that at one point in my life, I only had nine toes. It was a weird lawnmower accident. I tripped, I put my foot under the lawnmower, and you know what? I'm just gonna stop there, because I can see you guys cringing. <laughs> But it's all okay, I got to the hospital, they were able to help me out. Um, it's just now one of my toes is slightly smaller than it used to be. Um, but anyway, I wanna know what your weirdest slash worst injury ever was. So comment down below what that was. Um, I'm really curious to start seeing who can beat nine toes. We're gonna be looking at a weird passage within the Bible. It comes from Mark chapter five, verses 25 through 34. And it talks about this lady with another medical condition. Um, it was kind of this injury that was hurting her her entire life. It even says that she spent her entire life savings going from physician to physician, trying to get this uh, condition figured out and healed. It was tormenting her that bad. And nobody was able to figure it out until one day she heard of this man walking through her town named Jesus. And she figured, hey, you know what? Let me just go out and see what this guy can do because I've heard he does miraculous things. And she goes out and she's a little dismayed because she sees Jesus, but he's surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of people and she can't get an audience with them. She can't talk to him and explain what's going on. And so all she can do is reach out and touch his cloak. But see, Jesus felt that and he knew that she was there. He asked his disciples, who just touched me? His disciples looked at him and went, Jesus, there's hundreds of people here. Everybody's touching him. He goes, no, I know someone needed me. And see, this, this verse seems really weird. It's kind of this weird passage where this woman goes out and touches his Jesus' cloak and gets healed. But what I love about it is it speaks to the fact that Jesus does miraculous things in our lives, not because he's too busy, but because he loves us. Jesus and God are never too busy to meet us where we're at and to help us through the hard times in our lives. They can do miraculous things and all it takes is for us to just go and seek out God. So I love this seemingly weird passage because of the truth that God does miraculous things in our lives. He's never too busy for you. He loves you, who you are and where you are. All you have to do is seek him. So anyway, thanks for joining us for Weird Wednesday. Comment down below your worst slash weirdest injury, and we will see you guys next week.